Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. For today's episode, let me show you how to apply audio effects to videos using GarageBand. So in GarageBand, I want to choose a new project and then choose Movie and then create the project. I'll just stick with the default name there and once I have it created, I'll be able to drag and drop the video that I've got in here. So I'm actually going to drag from the finder here. I've got this one. I'm just going to drag it there. You can also use the media browser too if you prefer that. So now I've got my video there and it just has some plain audio. It's from the last episode. Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. So now I want to apply an effect to that. The first thing I want to do is to choose the audio there. You can see I can't really do anything with the video in GarageBand, but I can choose the audio and I can see the editor below if I want. I can also click on the I button right here and get information about that track. Then I can go to Edit and I can see the effects that are applied. Now there's no effects applied right here because they haven't been turned on. I can turn them on and off like that. Let's add another one here and turn it on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use something very simple, the Vocal Transformer. You can see by default it's on and I can then choose one of the many default settings in here. So for instance I can make myself sound like a chipmunk. So with this Vocal Transformer Chipmunk on I can now play and hear the result. In today's episode let's take another look at uninstalling applications. Now there's a lot more you can do than just a simple effect like that. You can actually go in and change this as much as you want. I'm going to double click on the icon there and I can see that I've brought up a bunch of different things here. I can switch over to all of these and see the different settings. Uh, basically it's a pitch change here. I can basically go to manual and then change it as I want. The same is true for just about any effect you want to apply. So for instance let's go to an echo and I'll turn off that one and we can hear the echo here. Hi this is Gary. Hi, this is Gary. Gary. Now. Now. Today's episode let's take and I can double click here and actually change the echo time, repeat, all sorts of different things. Now suppose you want to apply the effect only to a portion of the video. Well, that's going to take more work because an effect will apply over the entire track and since the entire soundtrack for the video is in one track in GarageBand you have no choice but to apply it to everything. But we can split the video out. Let's create some splits here. Command T will do it and let's take this portion here so let's say that middle portion, that's the one that I want to apply the effect to, not the ones before it or after it. So I'm going to uh, create a duplicate of the current track, which won't copy these over, but I can select them all, copy, and then go down to this new track and paste them all in. Um, this will allow me then to align them so they're perfectly matching there. And I can delete the tracks like so. So now I have the same audio track as before. You just don't notice that it switches from this track to this track for this portion here. Now I can select this track and apply an effect like say Monsters and now when I play it this first portion will be normal and then it will go to Monsters and then it will go back. back most now. <laughs> applications. Now all you have to do is save to save the new audio over the old audio on that same clip. So the two ways to work with this if you're using iMovie. One is to take your original clips and edit the audio like this. Then take those saved clips out of GarageBand, bring them into iMovie and start your video editing. The other is to do the opposite. Is to do all your editing in iMovie and when you're done with the project export it, share it at the quality that you want and set final video, bring that into GarageBand and edit the audio and then save it out. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.